Right, hi guys. Thanks for tuning in to another video review for Mayor Rifles UK. This is Dan here. And um, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Dan Wesson 715 6 inch barrel revolver. Now, this is just a quick view of the box. Um, it's just a tabletop review today, so I won't be doing any shooting because the pistol's on loan to me and it is in brand new condition. So the um, owner of the shop has asked that I don't shoot it, which I think is fair enough. And um, just give you a few facts about it and a bit of a look around the box. As you can see here, it says uh, ASG, which stands for Action Sport Games. Um, they're the people that make the pistol and they're under license from Dan West and Firearms. USA. Incidentally, Dan Wesson is now owned by CZ. Uh, just a little fact there. Um, I'm going to say just a quick view around the box. That's what it looks like from the sides. And um, yeah, pretty bog standard packaging. And um, this is the uh, user manual or the guide on how to operate it safely. So everything in there gives you a heads up on how to operate the gun and use it safely and to get the best use out of it. And this is how the packaging is inside the box. This is obviously for the UK market. It might look different inside for other countries, but um, this is how it is for the UK. So starting in the bottom left-hand corner, you've got all these um, three, oh, sorry, six copper shells casings that obviously act as a, um, a pellet port. So what you do, rather than feeding the pellet directly into the barrel, you put them into here at the front. BB's going at the back, I believe. No, pellets at the back, BB's at the front. Um, comes with a speed loader so you can use that. I personally wouldn't bother because I'm already having a go on this gun. Seating the shells into the magazine is quite a satisfactory feeling, which I don't think you get. You're kind of disconnected from that experience when you use the speed loader. So I'll just pull the gun out of the box and move this away for a moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Give you a quick view over it. I've had to put a light on in the video just to light up the gun a bit better because it's quite hard to find it on the camera with this, um, the lighting that I've currently got. So a bit of a close-up of it. Excuse me. For some reason the camera's not... Oh, I've got it on autofocus. Bear with me. Right, so yeah. That's what it looks like up close. Sorry, I got there in the end. You can see there it says 357 Magnum. Um, got the Dan Wesson mark in there, which looks absolutely spanking, I've got to say. Um, that's what it looks like down the barrel. I'm not too sure you can fit anything into that. I don't think you'd want to with a gun like this because it completely ruins its look. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is the only plastic part of the gun. It's like a polymer, and the rest of it is completely metal. That sticker there indicates it's a free dual pistol, which from what I've heard and seen and can tell myself, you could peel that sticker off if you wanted to, but it's staying there. Um, all these guns have their own unique marking on them, their own unique serial number. So that's what one is on this one. I do apologise for the camera today, guys. For some reason, I can't seem to get it to work. Um, I'll tell you what that says. It says 16A 66056. I'm going to try it without this torch. I think that might be what's doing it. <coughs> so anyway, carrying on. Um, the safety is located just there. So if you knock that back, it's now in a position where you can cock the hammer. So when you do that, you'll notice that the magazine cycles for a double action. So it's a double action pull. Or oh, sorry, single. And obviously a double action is... All the way through like that. Um, the snap on it's quite nice. If you just watch my finger, it's about there. Obviously, if you're on single action, it's a lot quicker to go. And that that action feels absolutely gorgeous. It really is smooth and lovely to do. You say if the safety's on and it's a little catch right there, you push it forward. The hammer can't remain back or move back, should I say? Um, there's no gas in this pistol at the minute, and there won't be because I'm not going to put any into it, but that's what it looks like down there into the magazine. It spins extremely freely. It feels ever so polished and really smart. It doesn't even make any noise, look. So just bringing back these shells. Obviously, if you put a BB in that end or a pellet in that end and then plonk it into here, it's good to go. I'll show you, you literally don't even have to push in. You can just plonk it there. 
and it just rocks all the way in, absolutely lovely. The quality of this pistol, I have to say, is absolutely awesome. I'm not really a revolver fan, if I'm absolutely honest, but if I had a bit more time with this gun, I think I could probably see myself getting one because it is extremely smart to look at. It feels much better than a replica of like a semi-auto, I think. It just, you see the shells are visible and that in itself without the free jewel to me says mean bit of kit. <laughs> You know, it really is a nice bit of kit. So if I just plonk that down for a minute, I'll try and read you out some of the facts. <clears throat> so uh, the overall length of the uh, pistol is uh, 298 millimetres, or 30 centimetres. Its weight is um, 1,225 grams, which is quite a beast. When you've got this pistol in the hand, you definitely know it's there. You can see why you get the jokes in, like um, lock, stock and all that, where like, Mate, he says you hit him around the head with it if it don't work. I do believe that's snatch, actually. But, yeah, you can kind of see where that comes from because they have really heavy things to hold. Um, as it states on the gun, its muzzle energy is 3 joules, or if you prefer, that's 2.5 foot-pounds. Its muzzle velocity is 130 metres a second, or if you prefer, 430 feet per second. Uh, this version is in 177. I do believe that's the only size calibre they come in, and you can get them in airsoft, uh, pellet, BB, or BB and pellet variations, I believe. Um, so this, the six shot mag with bullet imitation shells and speed loader is a really nice touch as well. I think it's nice. It's, as I've said, the, um, the trigger is a single action and double action, and um, the majority of the gun is made from metal. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the rear sights are adjustable for windage and elevation. So you've got a screw there to slide it across and I should imagine that that one there is responsible with a spring-loaded um, screw to obviously push the, um, the sights up and down. Uh, just something worth noting, I polished this gun before I got it out of the box and as you can see it's already plastered in fingerprints. Um, my hands aren't particularly sweaty or clammy but they're still leaving traces. So if you get it in the um, gunmetal version, which is what I'd say this is, it's like a gunmetal grey. Um, just be prepared to spend a lot of time polishing it because you don't want to leave your fingerprints all over it because what it would do over time is remove your shine and I'm, you all know this anyway guys so I'm just pointing out the obvious just while I'm here I just want to show you the uh, the blade the trigger blade as you can see that's a really nice chunky tri uh, trigger to take hold of and it sits in an absolute lovely place and very comfortable to use and a nice positive click when you fire the gun you kind of you get a satisfactory click from it and just look at that cycle absolutely perfect uh, also it's worth pointing out that this gun was made in taiwan so it's under license by action sports games asg but it's actually made in taiwan and the taiwanese have done a wicked job with this gun don't believe what you hear about certain stuff from that country because this is top top marks if you ask me um, so I say yeah all the markings are on it, it's licensing and comes with an individual serial number and um, I think this is a really nice gun. Uh, from first glance obviously I can't go on to say anything about how it shoots because I haven't actually fired it and if I was to say that it shoots in a particular manner I'd only be telling you all porky so I don't know what it's like to shoot, I don't know what the decibel is like, you know the, the volume of it when it fires but um, from first glance is for somebody who doesn't like revolvers like myself not to say I don't like them, I just, they're not my favourite type of pistol. I'm pretty swayed by it. It's a nice bit of kit, I've got to say. Um, and if you're happy enough to part with the asking price for one of these, which I believe is £174 from the nice guys down at Pull the Trigger in Plymouth. So if you pop in and wish to purchase this gun, um, you'll be looking to part with about £175. Quid which I think is a fair price to ask for, considering the quality of the gun. Um, this is the newer version of the 715. The older version, um, it had a much bigger block here, and there was also more of a kind of a rail groove on the top, and it just, it, it's a nice gun, they're both nice, but I think this one's a much nicer one to, to have, because I believe the, uh, the pistol strap comes off on the other one in like a kind of plastic clunky fashion, whereas with this one, I can just, yeah, what you do is you pull, you pull that off 
and obviously it hooks into there so you, when you put it back on you need to be careful but what you do is with this little allen key tool here like the little wrench that's built in you obviously slacken off so i'm trying to do this through looking through the camera you slacken off the lock in that and you can obviously use that to load up or unload the co2 and you don't have to worry about losing it because it's built into the pistol strap or the hand strap sorry so again another nice little touch to the um the pistol's design and it goes back on as easy as that and as you can see there's no fear of it falling off easily so oh, that is nice <laughs> right guys i'm going to leave it there otherwise i'm just waffling and wasting more of your time um thank you very much for watching this review and a big thanks to pull the trigger down in plymouth you guys are a great great shop um yeah and i hope to see all you guys soon if you haven't already please like and subscribe and um, look out for future videos from air rifles uk Thank you very much for your time, guys. Ta-da.